Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another Rick and Morty review. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Season 2, Episode 8, Interdimensional Cable 2, Tempting Fate. Ugh, you know, okay. So, in my Pickle Rick review, at the end of the review, I mentioned how either Diane Harmon or Justin Roiland had said that Vindicators 3 was the worst episode, right? But people told me in the comments of that video, I guess at some point prior to that, they had said this was the worst episode, or at least the most disappointing, right, in their opinion. And I thought back and I was like, oh, I don't remember it being that bad, right? It, w it was okay, it was funny. But re-watching it again, like, holy shit, this, this was a hard set. And... I have to watch an episode three goddamn times to do one of these reviews. Oh my god. I, 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 it, it took, it's, it literally, I started working on this like two days ago. And only now am I getting around to finishing it. Because I did my first watch through and I just couldn't do a second one then right after it. I had to take a break. Oh my god. You know, I've said in the past... There's no such thing as a bad episode of Rick and Morty, right? Back before season three had even started, I, there was, there's no such thing as a bad episode. Since then, I keep having to add asterisks to that statement. Well, kind of. Because, I mean, like, I didn't like something Rick it this way comes. And yet, I don't know if I'd say it's a bad episode. I think it's mediocre. But I wouldn't say it's bad, right? In this episode, rewatching it was oh my god! I just uh, I I remember it being good. It, it and it can. There are a few times where the jokes work, but oh, I I don't know if I'd say it's bad. It's probably just mediocre, maybe. I just oh god, dude! I I couldn't do it three times. It was it was too much for me. It's I I, I uh, you know let's just, let's just get this over with, okay? The episode starts off kind of like um one of the scenes we see in the opening. Jerry is sick or whatever, so they're rushing him to an intergalactic hospital, right? And while he's being treated for a sickness, Rick breaks the cable box, puts in the crystal, and says we're doing a sequel, right? It worked well the first time, we'll do it again. Right? Okay. Uh, um, the Interdimensional Cable was a fine episode. Um, a lot of the skits were really funny, and much like the first Interdimensional Cable review, I'm not going to be talking about any of the skits. I'll, well, I'll talk about one or two but for the most part, I want to skip over them because there are because this is they're the only funny thing in the episode are these skits, and if you want to subject yourself to the torture that is this episode, only do it once. There are there are some jokes, there are some laughs in here. Like one of these, this first one is man versus car. That's funny, and much like the first one, they just throw everything at the wall and saw what stick right. So. It's it's a lot of improv, and you even hear it, right? Like, at the end, when he's talking about man versus car, I'm pretty sure he breaks character and says, wouldn't the cars always win, right? So it can So there are good jokes, right? The style of humor is still there, right? But onto the B-plot, which is what this review will be focusing on. We find out that... So Jerry's been healed, but... Okay, so in this wacky alien world, whatever, suspension of disbelief and all that shit, Jerry's penis can be modified to become a heart for Shrimply Pipples, right? Who is the leader of the free world or some shit like that. No, seriously. A lot of my notes are liter literally just say something followed by some shit like that. This video isn't going to be advertiser-friendly. Actually, for the most part, I've had good success with advertiser-friendly and Rick and Morty. The Sonic Mania review got taken down for not being advertiser-friendly. That's, that's fucking weird. 
But, right, so Shrively, uh, I think it's Shrively Pick Pipples comes in and is like, oh, I've been to Earth. Their dicks are the big thing, right? I never saw a single dick joke not work, right? Oh, because they love, right, dick jokes, right? And this this doesn't sound like a bad idea for an episode. J Jerry has to give up his dick for someone else's heart. That's That should be funny. And the first time I saw it, I think I laughed. Again, that was a year and a half ago, but I didn't laugh now. But we get some more interdimensional TV. Um, is it J Jan Michael Vincent, right? I'm looking at this one and I'm like, this is a completely different art style. That's... Did the first... I don't remember. Did the first one do that? I don't think it did, but this one had a different art style. That was interesting. But basically, the doctor is telling Jerry, oh, this is what's going to happen, right? This is... We're going to make incisions here, right? We're going to do this. And Jerry, Jerry gets squeamish, right? And he's like, oh, you got to check with my wife because he's trying to get out of it because uh, they were right. The, the aliens were right. And, oh, you humans care about their dick too much. And at first, Beth is like, no, you can't remove my husband's dick. But then she sees the prosthetics, right? And how they're, they're all these fancy models. And she's like, oh, no, go ahead, do it, right? So she... He's tr he's obviously trying to get out of it, and it's not... F well, I mean, like, I think this should be funny, right? But I, I don't think it is. And, I mean, like, he I understand losing your dick, but I mean, like, if you're going to get a bigger dick, you might as well go for it. I mean, like, don't most guys, right? This is, like, a thing where, like... Even when a guy has a big dick, it could always be bigger. Isn't that like a th uh, Am I? Oh, God, I'm out of touch. But Jerry Jerry goes, right, for one one last time, right? And he finds all this, what he believes to be dirt on Tribbly Pipples. And he goes to this, pre right, they go to this press conference where they're like, oh, he's going to get out of this. Or at least that's his plan, but then he can't, and some shit happens, right? Uh, it, back on the interdimensional cable side, we get the, how it's made of a plumbus, which, um, is this where the, is this the episode the pl plumbus comes from? Because I feel like plumbus is one of the most iconic things to come out of Rick and Morty, along with, like, the me-seeks and insert third example here. But I can't think of it appear, it appears twice in this episode, and I can't think of it appearing before this one, unless it appeared in the first inter interdimensional cable, which is completely possible now that I think about it. it probably did, didn't it? Uh, but, so, R Jerry, right, everyone's booing Jerry, right, because he refuses to give up his dick. And they're like, oh, we could, well, I guess we'll just make a synthetic one, which, this will have... This will... Okay, so first of all, they're, Jerry calls them out on being assholes, and they're like, oh, no, he's an asshole, when they could have made a synthetic the whole time. That's the first problem with this. The second problem we'll get to, right? But eventually Jerry's like, oh, no, I'm a good person. Cut off my dick and give it to this man, right? And uh, what, what ends up... Right, it makes the news, right? They see it back in the room, and Beth and Summer run in, and they shoot Jerry 57 times. Okay? And then we in the next scene, it's like, oh, yeah, no, you're fine, right? Because we're in a super advanced alien hospital. You'll be fine, right? Because, oh, it's super advanced alien. You'll heal from this. Yeah, this is fucking bullshit. Like, fuck this shit. Like, I mean, like, if you can heal... I mean, like, on one hand, I think they're saying, oh, humans aren't complex, right? We can easily heal you from 57 bullet wounds. But yet they needed his penis, and then they needed a synthetic, and it was fucking bullshit. And then, and it just does it doesn't make any sense. Why, why? I understand the joke of the penis, right? Because that's the joke. Why even throw in the synthetic, right? Why not say, oh, we found a new donor, right? Because, or why even have him, I mean, like, I see, okay, the joke is, oh, he gets shot 57 times, but he's fine. 
But by having him be shot 57 times and be fine, the whole idea of the heart transplant is fucking bullshit because they're in a super duper advanced alien facility, right? Who fucking, they can just grow him a new heart if they can heal 57 goddamn bullet wounds. Fuck this shit, man. Fuck this shit so goddamn much. <laughs> and then the end credit scene is uh, Jerry goes to eat some eye holes. It was a joke earlier in the episode. I skipped over it. And he gets attacked by the eye hole man. Boom, that's it. Fuck this episode. I, 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 again, I, I, the jo I mean, like, I skipped over a lot of the interdimensional cable stuff on purpose, and those are funny, right? There's some good jokes here and there. But, uh, I just, I don't know if it saves it from being a bad episode. And if it is a bad episode, it's still on the higher scale of bad, right? Like, if you put bad on, like, if you put bad on a scale from 1 to 10, this would be, like, uh, 10, right? A 10 out of 10, the best possible bad. It's still bad, but it's the best you can get, right? But, uh, next time we got the season 2 finale, finally, we'll be all caught up. And, we're, and it only took me five episodes into season three to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.